Yes, this is really bad for Bitcoin, but... Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. To be or not to be is what I live by. And today I'm going to look into some amazing news, amazing charts. And yes, I'm going to give you a beautiful inspirational quote at the end of this video. So keep watching the video till the end and be my friend. Now start with subscribing, start with sharing this video, start with all those thumbs ups and all that stuff that you need to do just before we start. And if you want to trade, use the links down below to sign up to claim some amazing bonuses. Now, let's first jump into that news item that I read that I think that is very important to understand for you. Then, the central banks have been buying a shitload of gold. In total, they bought 483 tons of gold and the biggest buyers were the Bank of India, the Bank of Poland and the Bank of Turkey. They bought 483 tons of gold. With buying all that gold collectively as the banks, they pushed the gold price to a new all-time high. So because of buying all that gold, the gold price went up to a new all-time high. Gold is up plus 23% since the beginning of this year. So all those banks buying gold still don't understand the power of Bitcoin. Gold is up plus 23%. The S&P is plus 18% since January till today. Bitcoin is still up 37%, even with this dip. Because if we would calculate all the way to 74K, we would be up a shitload more than like 37%. But even with a huge dip, Bitcoin is still outperforming gold and outperforming the S&P. I know that more and more banks start to understand, but a few of these big banks, India, Turkey and Poland, they are still accumulating that physical gold. Of course, that is a warning for all the people out there because when these institutions start to buy gold, they buy gold to protect themselves against the inflation that they have been creating for you. So that is why they do this. They will buy gold, they will survive the dip, they will survive the market crash, whatever is coming, and then they will start to sell the gold again for the other assets. So it's very important for you to understand that when big players start to move fiat currency or stocks or bonds or whatever it is into gold, you know they want to protect their capital against all that volatility that is coming, the inflation, etc. So that is why we as Bitcoiners should start to collect Bitcoin. And that is what we saw in the last weeks. The wills have been continuously adding Bitcoins to their portfolio. The plus thousand wallets, they grew. The plus 100 Bitcoin wallets, they grew. All the wills have been accumulating a shitload of Bitcoin because they exactly know what is coming. The next part of the Bitcoin cycle. And yes, I know at the moment, short term, there's some bad things happening. I will jump into the charts very soon and then I will explain what is the bad situation. But long term, nothing is wrong. Still a normal bull market with a target of a bull market top in 2025. But well, now let's quickly jump into the charts to show you why short term we could be a little bit more volatile. The first chart for today, guys, is this amazing chart that we can see here, the four hour chart. Again, a beautiful trading opportunity. We can see that there was a valid buy signal. I will draw a little bit so you can see this is the buy signal. Then we need to wait for a candle to close above the yellow stepping line. This was an official closing above that yellow stepping line. Uh, we had a blue line over here crossing that white line. We had the blue and the yellow decreasing, the green starting. And we had the green line also there on top. Green and then orange and then red. That's like a quadruple confirmation of the taking the trade. And that trade is a small trade, but still it's a profitable trade. We can take it over here and we are now, you could have exited over here with 2%. At the moment you're at 1.78%, of course, without leverage, but that's um, how you use the Bitcoin family trading signals. And how do you get them? You go to the bitcoinfamily.com and you become a VIP. There is a lot of resistance over here. The target should be, of course, a 62K level. If we break this level of resistance, we can easily go to that 60K and back to that 62K level again. You know how quickly Bitcoin uh, can move. If we zoom out, then we are seeing this amazing chart. And this chart is not positive. This is a 
very bearish chart. At the moment, it's a five day chart. So every candle is five days. It's the Gaussian channel. You know, we've been talking about it. And yes, that candle that we were talking about closed entirely with the body. It opened within the channel and closed within the channel. Normally, when that happens, guys, we will go and visit back to that midline, that 50, um, 4K level at the moment, 54,200. That is the level normally you fall back to. If we don't hold support there, we can even fall back to that bottom line, 46. But then I uh, expect us to fall to this dotted blue line, which is around 49,000 uh, US dollar. So 5349 is still a possibility because we close this candle within that channel. Most of the time it happens. There are, of course, always uh, moments and it doesn't happen. Just like you can see in the last time it happened here, we went into that Gaussian channel. Then the first candle closed and opened, opened and closed in the channel. What did we do? We went back to the midline. Yes, it was just a wick, but we went to that midline. We stayed in that channel until we broke out again. And that was when we had a bullish move. Normally, it's also an indication of the start of a bear market. So when it is within here, within the Gaussian channel, check what happened. First to that midline, trying to fight that midline, and then bam, that's the start of the bear market. We are still in the bull market, so I'm not saying this is the start of the bear market. We still have 12 months of bullishness, but this again is a sign that this whole month of September could be a month of visiting, revisiting 53K, trying to come up again to break at 60k and stay there until we break out and it can take a month and then if we break out then then again we can get a little bit more bullish so just check these candles over here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve five day candles that's 60 days that's two months within that channel before we broke out again the previous time we saw a similar situation was in the bull market before this bull market. This one over here. Because here we can see that same flag pattern. We went from 3K to 14K, correction within. We went into that Gaussian channel and then even the Gaussian channel looked even the same way of steepness. And then we went in, bam, to the midline, even to the bottom before we came back. Normally, we would have broken out at this point over there, guys. This is normally the point where we would have broken out. But at that moment, we had the COVID crash, the whole market crashed, stocks, everything. So that is why we can see this. Normally, I believe we would have been over here and then brought, like broken out like that. So this moment was a similar moment and situation as this. Maybe we are a little bit more bullish and maybe we only visit that midline, which is 45K, and that would be very positive. Even here it turned red and still we went into the bull market. Because there are some things that can happen that nobody can predict, unpredictable economical situations, and then still Bitcoin is able to recover, just like we saw over there. Okay, so yes, it is important, uh, but no, it's not the most important uh, thing, I think, for Bitcoin, but it doesn't look very bullish on the short term. So. We have some more time to accumulate. That's the positive thing. Always look at the positive part. The positive part is we have more time to accumulate Bitcoin at these levels, which is, of course, a present for a lot of people out there. Now, if we zoom out to the monthly, we can see that last Sunday, the monthly candle closed. That is this candle over there. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see the candle a little bit better, guys. This red candle, that was the August candle. So. In history, August and September always have been bearish. So this August also was bearish. Uh, we opened at 64, we closed at 58, but still there was a large wick to the bottom, which is very positive and a very, very tiny wick on the top. So this is still a bullish candle for me. It can be red as red, but it doesn't matter. It is a long wick, a large wick to the bottom, a lot of people buying pressure to uh, close the candle around 60K again. Now this new candle September is open. Will this again be a red candle? Hmm. Does it really matter? Hmm. Why? Do you see this orange line? That orange line is a 12 monthly moving average. Now I'm going to zoom out on this chart again because I love my favorite, this is my favorite chart. And I'll look to the previous bull market. What happened over here? We will go back to the first bull market here on this chart. This one over here in 2016. Check that orange line. Those Candles 
stayed above that orange line. That orange line crossed above that blue line. When that orange line crossed above that blue line, we had the halving, the red vertical line, that's the halving. At that moment, just count the candles. One, two, three, four, five, six candles before we had a very bullish candle that pushed the Bitcoin price up tremendously. Six candles after the halving ice. And we stayed above that orange line. Yes, we went to that orange line over there and we came close, but we stayed above it. Now let's go to the next bull market. Again, the same. This vertical line is the halving. The candles were just coming above that orange line, the 12 monthly, the 12 monthly moving average. From that moment, it took one, two, three, four, five, six candles to explode to a huge price of 70k. Again, the candle stayed above that orange line. We touched it with the first, the second, the third was a bit, a bit higher, the fourth again wicked into it, and then the fifth started at it, and then bam, it exploded into the sixth candle, guys. Now, again, this bull market, we have a halving vertical. We went up, we pre run the halving, we had an autumn high already before the halving, but then we have the halving, the candles are above the orange line, we have the one, two, three, four, five. This is not a sixth candle. We are still above the orange line. If the sixth candle closes above the orange line, I believe from that moment, and yes, we're talking about October then, October, November, December will be bullish, and then the rest of 2025 will be even more bullish, guys, all the way to the top 17 months after the halving, which brings us to September, October, November-ish uh, next year in 2025. So for me, zoom out, don't worry too much. Now, I have some more amazing charts. Uh, let's jump into them quickly because they are very important charts as well. I will delete my face over there and then we will jump into here. This is the first one. On this chart, uh, there is, you can see that there is people that really understand exactly what I just uh, explained to you guys. The amount of wallets holding at least 100 Bitcoin has increased rapidly past month. We can see a huge increase of those wallets. 283 more 100 plus Bitcoin whale wallets exist now compared to a month ago. That's a 2% rise almost. So these whales understand exactly where we are. Just like they understand here how to buy that dip, they are in profit because of buying a dip. How they understand here how to accumulate at these low prices and also here now how to accumulate again at that dip. This is what the whales do. This is what you should be doing. When they accumulate, you should be accumulating. Now, then we have this chart. On this chart, we can see something very interesting. It's a weekly chart. It's a dollar, Bitcoin, weekly time frame. So every candle is a week. But we are not looking at the candles at the moment. We're looking at the bottom here. And for example, at this one here on the bottom, we can see this structure here that we saw in 2020. If you look to the top, we can see that we went down with the MVRV Z score, that's the blue line. And here we came up slowly with the blue and the red line. So this was a divergence. You can see that it's a bullish divergence. This one is moving up, this one is moving down. When we broke out of that orange pattern over here, that like that triangle, uh, that triangle-ish pattern, uh, that pennant pattern, when we broke out of that one, we could see the Bitcoin price also go up. Of course, that COVID crash was there. Can you see? Of course, we can see it also here. But this double bottom, slowly moving from down below that red line, again above that red line, that was a very important moment after this dip and sideways movement. We are seeing again exactly the same. You can see this downward pennant. We can see here again, down below that red line, slowly moving upwards, slowly moving downwards, when we are done with this move, we will move up to the green line. We will break out of this pattern and we will see again a little bit more bullish moves. That is just how it works. Just check these fractals. It happens every time and again and again in Bitcoin. You can see it over here as well. Bottoming out, one, two, coming above, you see, and then bam, slowly the price starts to rise, guys. Interesting job. Then we have one more chart that is also very interesting, or maybe even two more charts I need to check. But again here, halving. What do we see after halving? We saw a dip. 
dip and sideways movement. What did we see after those 160 days of dipping and sideways movement? Bam, this move. And yes, 160 days is almost five to six months. Then again, the halving, red box, five to six months, sideways movement, a little dip, and bam, explode. Now again, the halving, five to six months, dip and sideways movement. What do you expect to happen after this? Yes, we will fill up probably this box over there, that green box. And of course, this is all about the market cap. You're not talking now about candles or something. This is market cap. Sorry, I forgot to tell you this, but you can see it, of course, here on the right. It's about trillions. And we could easily reach a $7 trillion market cap for Bitcoin. How cool would that be? And that would bring, of course, the Bitcoin price to around 160,000 US dollars, in my opinion, guys. That was the last chart. I hope you really enjoyed those charts, guys. Yes, like I told you, short term, it really doesn't look good because we closed a candle with a full body in that Gaussian channel and normally we will be drawn to the midline or even to the bottom of that Gaussian channel if we analyze the past. Yes, we are trying to come up again with this candle, so it could even run into that top line of the Gaussian channel and maybe the next candle also but still when we close the candle inside of the channel we mostly go to the mid and that's around 53k so if I would be putting buy orders I would be putting my buy orders around those levels guys long term I think September will still be like this difficult month maybe with a small dip to that 53k come up again to that 60k sideways and then from the mid of September till like the end of this year will be a beautiful bullish period we will go, in my opinion, to around 90k, probably see another dip again to 70k, and then in January, February, a little bit like dipish, and then March again starting to build up the last part of that bull market all the way into 2025 quarter four, like October, November, December, maybe even September, a top. And the top will be between 120 and 160,000 US dollars. So if you could buy Bitcoin at these levels, you should be buying Bitcoin at these levels because you will be able to double it, guys. Now, guys, I have an extra tip for today because there is a project I have been investing in this weekend, and that project is called Papo Ninja. Go check their Twitter. It's a really cool Telegram game. It's a project on Ton. So yes, it's a very popular network at the moment because people can play games and you can play to earn, etc. It's called Papo Ninja. Maybe you can have a link down below and go and check that out. And yes, no financial advice, etc. Blah, 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 blah. That is just what I am doing. I am investing in this project because I believe that all those mini games, mini apps on Telegram are very successful. I do believe that this one has a better ID even than those other games that we have seen performing really well that's why i invested in it uh, never play with too much just a little bit throw a little bit in and see what happens maybe you uh, hit a 20x or 30x and you're lucky now that was everything about the charts now let's quickly jump into the inspirational quote to be or not to be no there's a different one let's see which one bam the inspirational quote for today guys is not to be or not to be but be someone that you want to be around yourself. That's the only thing you need to do. If you're searching for who to become or what to become or what to be or what to do in life, just be someone that you want to be around. That's all you need to do. Just be that person that you would like to be around. If you would like to be around, probably more people want to like to be around. And the beautiful part is, if you are that person that you want to be around, you're slowly finding yourself. That is exactly who you should be. That variant of yourself that you want to be around. And you know that you sometimes act in a way that you're even looking in the mirror and like, ah, I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that girl. I don't want to be that man. I don't want to be that woman. Because you're acting not as a person that you want to be around. The moment you start to act as that person that you want to be around, you feel way more internally happy because you feel confident that you are a nice person, the person that you want to be. And from that moment, you can step into be or not to be. Because that is the moment you start to live life the way you want to live life, as that person that you should be at that moment. And that is when everything starts to happen. That is when automatically the universe, the law of attraction, whatever you call it, but that is when everything starts to happen. Of course, manifesting, visualizing, letting that go, being the person you want to be. 
living the things that you're thinking about, dreaming about, writing them down. This is the life I want to live. This is the house I would love to live in. This is the countries I want to travel. Start to write all that down. Start to manifest that self, to visualize that. Let it go. Let the universe, let everything do their work, but still become that person that you want to be around. Because that person will enjoy that trip that you're gonna make to the fullest. If you stay the person that you don't want to be around, then everything else that will happen is not going to be with full happiness. It's just you walking around as a ghost or a chicken without a head. How do you say this in English? Like just over the, across the world, like not knowing what to do. Become yourself, to be or not to be, and then go discover that beautiful world around you guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video, guys. If you did enjoy today's video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. And if you didn't like the video, please let me know down below why you didn't like it. And yes, yesterday I was absent, I wasn't there, because Sunday I had a too big of a party in a beach club with my daughter and some Bitcoin friends, and I just wasn't into making a video. And yesterday, my wife, came back from the Netherlands. So um, that was a happy, happy, happy time for me yesterday again, being together, reunited with my beautiful, lovely wife. Now, I hope you really enjoyed it, guys, and see you tomorrow again, yes, in the morning, with a beautiful Bitcoin video with all the information that you deserve to receive. And start now being who you need to be, to be or not to be.